just uh, arrived in Yellowstone after about a couple of hours drive from uh, Bozeman, Montana. And these are the cabins. And C-47 is the one I'm staying. And that's the car brought me here. It's a pretty cool evening. Temperature should be somewhere around 40-45. Could see that uh, smoking hot spring behind, at the back rather. This is called the Mammoth Hot Spring Terrace and uh, it's located at the northern part of the park. Well, the time difference uh, between this place and uh, East Coast is about a couple of hours. So, the time you see is the um, East Coast time. Here is the first sighting of some wildlife here, elk, this time of the year is actually the um, rutting season for elk. In fact, as soon as I arrived here this evening, I was told that uh, um, some of the bulls uh, um, are creating a racket. just heard the rutting call of the bull. Elk is only the second largest deer in the world next to the moose. Yellowstone Nation Park uh, was named for the Yellowstone River, the longest uh, wild river in the states. It runs about um, 670 miles long, um, which has uh, high yellow rock cliffs 
um, along the upper reaches of its banks. The Minitari Indians who used to live here uh, refer to the river as Mitsia Dazi, which means uh, Black Yellow River. But when the French fur trappers uh, translated it, it became Yellow Rock or Yellowstone. It covers an area of uh, two million acres uh, that stretches out to three different states, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. And uh, it's home to thousands of geysers, hot springs, canyons, waterfalls, and a wide variety of wildlife like elk, buffaloes, um, in other words, bison, um, moose, different smaller animals and of course the um, grizzly bears and brown bears that are found here. This mammoth uh, hot spring terraces um, are the world's largest uh, hydrothermally formed ter terraces. It basically churns out all the minerals that are inside, bring them to the surface, and uh, form layers or stairs. Here is a fuming pit. In fact, the land here was uh, shaped by three volcanic, volcanic <laughs> two million years ago. The one after was um, a uh, million, million years ago, and the last one was seven years ago. Um, the geese is uh, from cold water striking heated rock beneath the surface. This is the Canary Hot Spring and could see the deposit of minerals right here. major factors that contribute to the colors in a hot spring or thermal pool are the water's temperature, minerals, algae, selective reflections, absorption of light by colloidal particles, and water itself. Colors range from orange to blue to black.
soil here is very thin and very unpredictable so we are advised to stay on the trails and I believe uh, dozens of people have been skilled at to death uh, those who ventured off the trails and some of them got burnt and scarred These are the trumpeters, trumpeter swans, which are uh, uh, endangered endangered species. Once there were only 100 of them around, and now there's something like 250 found in the park. The wingspan of these birds uh, um, is about seven feet and its thick uh, plumage and well-developed uh, oil glands provide good insulation against cold, permitting the bird to winter here. This is the Gibbon Falls pitching over the rim of an eroded volcanic caldera. This is the Yellowstone River, Yellowstone Lake, uh, that's located at the uh, southeastern part of the park. It's one of the largest alpine lakes, formed by the forces of volcano and glacier. It's uh, about 110 miles 
of show line and uh, about 22 miles in length. License at Yellowstone. This is called the Hayden Valley and it's the largest valley in Yellowstone. This is the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. It's about 23 miles long and uh, 1200 feet deep. It's formed by the flow of water and as well the volcanic lava. The red color on the walls of the canyon was, uh, is due to iron oxide deposit. And that's the lower falls, which is about uh, 308 foot long, which is the double the size of Niagara Falls. We are again looking at the Mammoth Hot Spring Terraces.
mineral laden hot spring, rather hot water from deep beneath the earth's crust, finds its way to the surface and builds tire upon tire of cascading terraced stone. Begin 8,000 years ago, the sculpting of the terraces continues as thousands of gallons of water well up to deposit up to two, t two tons of limestone every day. Here's a milky white floor. When was that earthquake? 88. 88. It formed a whole new lake. It took out five Wait, miles. No, 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 no. The fire was in 88. The earthquake was in 59. 59. Just to say a few words uh, on the history of Yellowstone, the findings of in ancient campsites and stone articles has uh, established that man has lived in the Yellowstone Plateau 
for most of the 8,500 years since the last ice age. Uh, yet the recorded history of the area begins a little more than 185 years ago when Indians gave vague information to explorers Lewis and Clark. John Coulter, uh, who was supposed to be the first white man uh, ever to have seen uh, Yellowstone Nation Park, he was a fur trapper uh, working for a trading post, um, came to Yellowstone River um, in quest of uh, Indian customers during the winter of 1807. Later, uh, miners searched the area for gold, and uh, it was their tales of the wonders of the region that prompted an official exploration uh, by the U.S. Uh, Geological Survey during 1871. Uh, the superlative nature of Yellowstone wonders was uh, proved, and uh, in 1872, the United States Congress was uh, persuaded to set aside a vast mountain plateau area as Yellowstone National Park, which gave, became the first uh, uh, national park in the world. And of course, all the Indians uh, have been driven out and uh, absolutely no traces of them here anymore. And uh, here are a couple of uh, elks, elk cows rather. Elk make one of the more unusual sounds in the wilderness called the elk buggling, which is also a mating phenomenon. And autumn or fall is the rutting season for elk. A male would have a harem of cows. Elk is again the second largest deer in the world, next to moose. There are something like 30,000 30, elks in the in this park. Elks by the spring. That's the cone of an uh, extinct hot spring. Uh, 
Um, these are probably the signs of uh, 1988 fire here, at, here in the park that hit the headlines um, all over the world. Fire is very much uh, part of Yellowstone summer, uh, mostly caused by lightning. And uh, it's a way of uh, recycling, uh, nature's way of recycling nutrients back into Earth. But the summer of 88 fire was uh, massive and they had something like 52 fires here and uh, 25,000 firefighters um, worked at that time and the whole thing lasted for about almost four to five months and uh, um, snow arrived sometime in uh, September and uh, so by early November all the fires were put out uh, by nature itself and also they say this such a fire might may not occur for the next 300 years and uh, again another reason for 88 uh, towering inferno uh, was due to the fact that 88 was one of the driest uh, uh, summers here in Yellowstone Fire very much uh, helps uh, regrowth and uh, provide food to uh, many animals here in the park. Uh, this is the Roaring Mountain and I believe the roaring of this place uh, can be heard as far as four miles. And uh, just like any other Yellowstone Plateau, this was once a uh, pine, uh, filled with pine, but uh, As the ground became hot, steam vents developed and the, and the acidic sulfate was strong enough to bleach the rocks. Yellowstone is very much uh, seismically active and a number of uh, tremors and earthquakes have been recorded. Uh, the last major one was uh, in 1959 when 27 people died. And because and because of and because of this uh, seismic activity, um, steam vents can break out anywhere and. Uh, um, a green land could become a wasteland any time. So um, the landscape of the park is uh, very much altered periodically. trees are uh, killed by minerals washing down from these springs. The water gets evaporated and the minerals uh, get stagnated. The minerals get deposited under the root of the tree and uh, kills them.
is the bison, the symbol of Yellowstone. Bisons were misnamed by the Europeans as buffaloes, um, as there have never been any buffaloes here in this part of the world. When the Europeans arrived here since uh, Since bisons uh, look like buffaloes, they call the buffaloes. Today there are uh, 2,000 of them here in the park. Bison stands six feet at the shoulder and weigh a ton. Um, it must be an awesome sight to see two bulls charge, which happens during the rutting season, which is in summer. To the Indians, uh, they yield meat, drink, shoes, houses, fire, vessels, and uh, today um, in the whole of uh, American continent, they number about 65,000. Bison ranged uh, something like 60 million. Again, bison ranged something like 60 million before the advent of the Europeans. But by the turn of the century, they were reduced to 600. Uh, male is uh, pretty much solitary and uh, it's a matriarchal society. Bison is most active in early morning hours and in late afternoons. They are very good swimmers. During winter time, they clear snow from vegetation with hooves. Indians occasionally kill them um, more than what they needed. by stampeding them over the cliffs. But uh, in spite of such mass killings, uh, it didn't affect the population. But the destruction began, the destruction began in 1830 when the harsh government policy advocated the ext extermination to subdue hostile tribes through starvation. That must be a male since he's alone. And we are at the Norris Geyser Basin. All these thermal features uh, are uh, signs of dying volcanism. Uh, though um, New Zealand and Iceland are known for their uh, geysers, but uh, um, more number of geysers are found in uh, Yellowstone than in those two countries.
and the Norris uh, geyser um, is the world's world's tallest geyser. At such an elevation, the colors in the hot spring are due to the presence of uh, algae and different minerals like uh, sulfur, silica, etc. This looks uh, greenish blue. I, rem I remember reading somewhere uh, that once a Chinese uh, laundryman poured soap into one of these hot springs uh, just to make it uh, air up quickly. And uh, I believe he was really successful and he d it did air up, uh, but uh, it totally changed the uh, cycle of uh, that hot spring and since then the, uh, that one started erupting um, prematurely. Yeah. 
there are uh, different types of thermal features namely hot spring, geyser, mud pot and fumarole um, all these form depending on the um, quantity of water, pressure um, and the presence of different minerals and as well the temperature. Um, geyser is a special kind of hot spring um, and it periodically erupts violently as pressure mount uh, in large volume of uh, hot water stored deep under the surface. The park has between uh, 150 to 200 geysers The mud part forms as heated water mixes with clay and other undissolved mineral. Depending on the minerals present, uh, it can be quite colorful. Fumarole um, forms uh, if there is uh, uh, not enough um, supply of water. So basically water vapor and other gases expelled from holes in the ground uh, create a kind of steam vent and the expulsion uh, can be really forceful the presence of uh, this um, um, hydrothermal uh, features here in the park indicate um, it indicates that uh, there is molten rock just beneath the earth's surface hydrothermal features are again um, caused by water meeting molten rock on the earth on the earth's crust much of the Yellowstone's precipitation seeps into the earth via the porous volcanic rock some of the water stops at the water table returning to the surface through cold springs the rest however continues deeper into the earth going as deep as two miles as a result of this water reaching molten rock its temperature far exceeds the boiling point perhaps more than 500 degrees Fahrenheit and because of the tremendous pressure it cannot boil or turn to steam so the water escapes through a plumbing system deep within the earth and as it rises through the porous rock channels um, um, its pressure goes down and the water boils at last like we see right here reddish color we see here is due to the presence of iron oxide whether the boiling water becomes a geyser or a fumarole depends on temperature pressure and the type of rock it has been piped through and the steam energy remaining after the cooling off process on the way up this yellowish color is due to the presence of sulfur I could also smell the rotten egg uh, smell which is the uh, smell of sulfur
here we can see gallons of uh, steaming water shooting up Look at a herd of uh, bison here. bison's on the moon
you know the smoky fuming bubbling geyser These are the algae. Walking through the smoke. Some of the water flows, like rivers in the Yellowstone, um, they don't freeze even uh, at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit during winter. Uh, it's because of the thermal effect underneath. This is the Old Faithful Geyser. Faithful is located at the southwestern part of the park.
People are waiting here to see the eruption.